Hello everyone, this is Neil reporting for Eurovoa live from Nice at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2023. And with me now is Julia Machado from Portugal. Bom dia, Julia. Bom dia. Como estás? Estou bem, o senhor. Estou muito bem, porque posso falar com, contigo hoje. So, how are you finding Nice so far? Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to be this beautiful. Um, but my favorite part of Nice, if, you, if you've been keeping up with my videos, is the little doggies that I've been seeing all over the place. They're very cute. So many dogs. I just, I want to take them all home. <laughs> They're so tiny. <laughs> They're so tiny and cute. So you had your first rehearsal yesterday in the arena. How did it go? It went well, but I think that I could give better on the stage and that I can do better on the stage. So for next rehearsal, I'm going to give it even more so like that I, everything can be amazing. I'm, I'm sure you'll be amazing when Sunday comes around as well. So then being chosen through The Voice as well, and then your mentor on The Voice, uh, Fernando Daniel, being one of the co-writers of your song, how, how did that feel to have someone you've worked with so much be one of the co-writers of your entry? It feels amazing. I never thought that I'd have an opportunity to work with Fernand Daniel. It's an amazing opportunity. He is an amazing person. During The Voice, he w kids, he would always help me whenever I had a doubt and he would always help me find better ways like that I can improve with my songs. And if it wasn't for him, none of this would have happened. And your song as well, Where I Belong, is about um, you coming to Portugal and having this whole new life. Given that this song is the song you're representing Portugal with, does it feel extra special to sing this in front of millions of people? Yes, it feels extra special because not only is the song about my story, but it also just it talks about everybody's story in the end because everybody goes to a dark place and then they finally fa find their home, hopefully, that everybody finds their home. But not only is this song special to me because of its story, it's because there is this one person that never got a chance to hear it before he left me. Um, and I'm going to give it my best because I know that he's always watching. That, that is absolutely beautiful and we, um, we know he's going to be watching as well. Uh, apart from singing, you're also a very keen surfer. And France is known as a great surfing destination. Unfortunately, we're on the wrong side of France for surfing. So are you coming back to France so you can catch some of the waves in Biarritz or many of the other surfing places along the other <laughs> coast of France? Well, hopefully I'm able to get the opportunity to come back to France and do that. I would love to because I've only been surfing in Azure, um, which is one of which is one of the amazing beaches that are in Portugal. Um, and I do recommend to go visit because, again, Nazaré is like an amazing place. And the school that I go to there is also amazing in Nazaré Surf School. If it wasn't for them, I started when I was six years old. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be surfing because they taught me everything since I was six till today. And today I've improved. I've been working hard on my skills. People think that surfing is easy. I thought that it was easy at first. I've done surfing too. It's not. <laughs> yeah, because it's like you have to first paddle, then you have to push yourself all the way up. Then if you fall backwards, you have to like put pressure on your toes. If you fall too forward, you have to put pressure on your heels. It's like so many things. Okay, so which is easier than surfing or performing at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest? For me, it's singing. Um, but for me, they're both the same, technically. <laughs> okay, good to know. And then finally, do you have a message for everyone watching this video here? Yeah, um, that if you're ever going through something dark or if you need someone to talk to, to always reach out for help because there's no point of just staying in the dark because there's always a light. It might, you might not see it right away, but the light is always there to guide you and it will never leave your side and I know that for a fact and that to never give up on your dreams because I found where I belong now you guys need to find where you guys belong exactly and visit Nazare yeah. as well yeah and eat the food yeah eat all the food when you go to Portugal <laughs> everything <laughs> então Julia muito obrigado por falar comigo hoje muito obrigada
sad. <laughs> and remember to subscribe to our Eurovision channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss absolutely anything. And also follow us on our socials as well. We have a lot more coming up from Nice, so stay tuned. Um, but until next time, bye-bye.